This lecture covers Chapter 20, Career Planning and Professional Development. The necessity of career planning and management is one of the many challenges facing the laboratory scientists today. Career issues are the products of larger concerns, the healthcare crisis, the information explosion, quantum leaps in technologic innovation, and economic shifts keenly felt inside and outside the workplace. This chapter explores the elements of successful career planning by describing career priorities and professional development programs, strategies for creating opportunities, networking, and using a strategic development plan are presented. Following successful completion of this chapter, the learner will be able to define the responsibilities of professional life, list the elements of a successful career, describe several skills related to the planning and implementation of a professional development plan, describe a unified view of a professional career in light of the professional community, the workplace, personal needs and interests, and collaboration with colleagues, and outline a customized plan for professional development and identify the main skills needed to make that plan succeed. The time is past when we could operate on a safe routine within a narrow specialty with set procedures, feeling confident that nothing dramatic would change from year to year. No longer can we afford to be out of touch with political, economic, social, and scientific developments or to ignore our connection with related disciplines within the layer context of medicine. Vital to any successful career is a plan. Success is the outcome of the ability to create a custom-designed, multifaceted professional development program that facilitates lifelong learning. A philosophy of life that focuses on retaining and maintaining high standards of practice and educational, professional, and or research activities should be developed. Professionals are obligated to share knowledge and expertise with co-workers and colleagues at all levels of practice, and each has the responsibility to contribute to and expand the overall body of knowledge within the profession. Exchanges through networking play a key role in professional development, providing an immeasurably valuable range of advantages and benefits. In today's job market and economy, many professionals have difficulty finding employment. Posted jobs are highly competitive and sticking out in the crowd is unlikely. When you use networking to find a personal connection to your preferred organization, you have instantly found a way to stand out from the crowd. Attending networking events such as career fairs, seminars, and professional meetings are good ways to begin expanding your network. After establishing your network, it is important to stay in touch with these individuals and help other people by becoming one of their contacts. Table 20-1 on page 491 of your textbook lists the advantages and benefits of networking in the profession. Professional development programs, establishment of activities and procedures to assist acquisition of the knowledge, skills, and attitudes that enable increased effectiveness in performing all functions related to professional life. 
Professional development programs should be designed to accomplish one or more of the following goals. Develop personal attributes to enhance scholarship, productivity, and exchange of ideas. Promote contributions to the profession and community. Cultivate awareness of professional issues and responsibilities for enhancement of the scope of practice. Serve as a catalyst to fulfill goals and maintain high standards of practice as set out in both our philosophy of life and professional philosophy. Figure 20-1 on page 492 of your textbook outlines some of the self-directed professional development aspects that could be performed to accomplish these goals. Please review some of these activities listed on pages 493 and 494. Flexibility is the capability to adapt to new, different, or changing requirements. This often means looking at crises and obstacles as an invitation to redefine, rethink, and respond with enthusiasm and energy rather than with pessimism and anxiety. On the other hand, dedication to the promotion reflects a profession broader and more demanding than the traditions of subspecialties alone. The concept of dedication a self-sacrificing devotion is timely and appropriate. Third is positive attitude. Optimism and the vitality it generates, independent of changing circumstances, are essential for personal and professional advancement and achievement. We must learn to take control of our profession and determine our own destiny. We must learn to foster the growth and development of our careers, assessing your personality in terms of work ethic, principles, values, personal style, and preference in the work environment is a worthwhile investment to begin the process. Always be prepared for any opportunity by knowing what your strengths and weaknesses are, how you can use your strengths to your advantage, and develop your weaknesses into strengths. Resumes are typically one or two pages in length, although this may vary depending on your experience or the position you are applying for. Curriculum vitae are used mostly in the academic and scientific professions instead of a resume as well as when applying for a position internationally. A curriculum vitae is like a resume, except it is long, comprehensive, and more informative. Resumes are short and meant to be persuasive, listing only the most relevant experiences, qualifications, skills, certifications, and other information relevant to the job. Resumes should also highlight your strengths and provide proof of how your potential employer will benefit from hiring you. When applying for a job, it is beneficial to create a new version of your curriculum vitae and omit any unnecessary information. A cover letter is another important part of the job application. It is almost always required and is considered proper etiquette to include when sending a resume or curriculum vitae for a job application. It is a way to highlight your qualifications and experience for the position. Another important step in creating your opportunities is interview preparation. There are several strategies that can be used to answer questions during an interview. One method is to think about the question for a moment, 
and directly answer the question in a concise manner. In addition, it is also a good idea to make a list of questions to ask the interviewer. After an interview, it is proper etiquette to always send a thank you letter or card via email or mail as soon as possible, whether you receive any feedback or not. We must learn to create our own opportunities, know how to capitalize on them, and formulate a strategic development plan based on answers to the following who, where, what, how, and when questions. Table 20-2 found on page 498 of your textbook consists of a suggested timetable for creating your own opportunities. This strategic plan must include a way to acquire the requisite knowledge, skills, and attitudes for approaching your primary goal. You can expect your overall goal to bring about improvements in the overall quality of your life. As a manager, you must continually be prepared to meet the demands for new knowledge, skills, and attitudes inherent in a changing society and workplace. This includes learning to be intuitive and anticipating change. You must also learn to increase your capabilities to effectively clarify your goals and values in order to relate to others and choose among competitive alternatives you have created and discovered for yourself. For this planning process, problem solving and decision making are crucial processes. This slide lists the basic abilities pivotal to effective problem solving and decision making. This lecture has introduced the concepts of career planning, professional development, networking, techniques of opportunity creation, continuing development plans, and skills needed for problem solving and decision making. By this process, the perfect job can suddenly become a reality, replacing anxiety and anticipation of a new position.